Hello folks, 4Star here, back with week 4 of NFL Europe. Today is going to be the Amsterdam Admirals against the Barcelona Dragons. Both of these teams, as far as the spectrum as they can be, uh, opposing each other. The Admirals are 3-0, and and they are rolling with their uh, running back, Hunter McFarlane, who has 308 yards, 4 rushing touchdowns, and 3 reception uh, touchdowns, and he is just rolling. Avery Henson, uh, his quarterback, 322 yards, 5 touchdowns, and only 2 INTs. And on the edge, LeBron Turner, once again, he got a sack last week, 5 sacks, and three tackles for loss. On the other end, the Barcelona Dragons are just terrible on every front. They need to get a rebound win here uh, in an away game, but it's going to be tough. Uh, Dave Ortega is struggling uh, just under 500 yards at 499 and three touchdowns and five INTs. Um, and his main receiver is Jermaine Price. He only has 14 receptions, 102 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, let's see if they can rebound here. Uh, it's going to be a tough one here, but here we go. Admirals in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. Let's kick it. Our game comes to you from Amsterdam as we get set for some overseas football. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. Amsterdam squares off against the visiting team. Going to the air on first down. Closing in. Big Man gets in there for a big sack. Hunt launches it across the middle. Broken up. The visiting team line up in trips bunch. Rolling out to his right. You got to give a lot of credit to this defensive line. They got a good push in the middle, and he was right there to bring him down. Dropping back. Deep throw. Almost picked off. Close to a big play by the defense. Boy, the counter play. Pearson is there for the tackle at the 42. And he was able to eat a lot of space on that one, John. Well, it started with some good block. When he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. The visiting team line up in a 4 3. A little misdirection. Misses the tackle. The 40, room to run. The 30, the 20, the 10. High stepping to the end zone. And he'll take it full away. Touchdown. When you talk about a dangerous back, this is what you have to be able to do. Not only get out there and outrun the defense, but have the power to bounce off the tackle and keep going. Play here on first down. Deep throw. The defenders got it. What an interception. Great position by Williams. And here's the thing. He's back there in the zone. The visiting team come out in a 4-3. Throws it. And it's complete. Pearson is there for the tackle. The visiting team come out in a nickel pack. Hand it off. Good one. Pulls him down. The running back finds his way into the open. Hunt. Throws it. Now he looks for blockers. Pearson comes up to make the play. At the 30-yard pass, we'll try to come through with the field goal here. The kick is through. It's good. He's one of those guys who hand it off to the back. Play action. Closing in. Throws on the run. Jetson makes the catch. Gilbert is there on the stop. Come out in a 4-3. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Jumps up. He has it. Martin makes the play at the 34-yard line. Pass play here on first down. Throwing. Right on target to the wide receiver. Five. Touchdown. He got it by the linebacker who ended up in single coverage on the receiver. with a four-man front. With 
to throw, and he finds a wide open fullback. Joyce brings him down at the 36. They get first. Hand it off. Misses the tackle. Gilbert is there on the stop at the 48 yard line. You can't stop me. You gotta have it, dude. Throws it. And it's complete. Slips the tackle. Goodwin is there on the stop at the 32 yard line. In the shotgun. To carry it. Play action. Fires this one deep. Jumps and he has it. Pearson comes up to make the play. At the three. Hands it off to the back. And they're in. Touchdown. McFarland runs it into the end zone for the second time. Dropping back to pass on first down. Long throw. He goes up and grabs it. William records the stop at the field. Pass play here on first down. Throw it. And it's complete. And he slips out of bounds at the 37. They throw it and pick up a second. Going for the deep man. He went up there and he got it. Number 20. Comes up to make the play. The visiting team. Dropping back to pass on first down. Throws it. Now he looks for blockers. He'll bring him down at the three-yard line. Black 19. And off to the tailback. And no score. Touchdown. When it comes to a play like this, the lowest man with the best. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Time closing in, throwing knocked down. Number one appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. A little misdirection. Pearson comes up to make the play at the 45. Done on third down. the throw. Free from the wide receiver. Hanson is the guy who's there to bring him down. And the 31. So they pick up a first down and a lot more. Good call there. A lot of success rushing on first down John, averaging over eight yards per carry. The offensive line has given the runners some good holes today. And he's forced out of bounds at the 14. Throws it. Off to oh, he takes the catch anyway. They're going to spot this one at the five-yard line. Looking for room, and he's in for the score. He can still move very well, John, even though he's been around a long time. Yep, he's still got the key decision-making ingredient in his make. From the gun. The blitz is on. Throw it. This one falls incomplete. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. And this pass is completed. Walters is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. Pass play here on first down. Rolls left. Plenty of time. Throws it. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown. I tell you, the quarterback and receiver look like they've been working on it. from the shotgun. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. The 50. Pearson is there on the stop at the 42. Come out in the quarter defense. Rolls left with the throw. He hits his receiver. The 30. The 20. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 11-yard line. To carry it. Nice play fit. With the pass, no one on the fullback. Touchdown, Admiral. This is exactly how you execute the play pass. The quarterback does a great job of selling the run, and that freezes the defense long enough for his receiver to get open in the end zone for the score. Seven. Amsterdam goes with a four-man front. This one is handed off. Pressure. Three. When you play man to man that well, it limits a quarterback's options. Hey, 
Dropping back. Going deep. He made the catch. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, visiting team. Touchdown. He does a good job finding the receiver. That pass will help cut into the lead. With a four-man front. With a counterplay. Joyce comes up to make the play at the 40-yard line. Gets the call. Number 58 makes the stop before the first down is reached. McFarland picks up the first down. It's the second time on this drive he's been able to move the chain. And what to look at here is exactly where the ball was when he went down. Yeah, they're thinking the ref is going to give him that left. It was determined that the ball was improperly spotted. The ball will be respotted and resulting down and distance applied. It was a close call, but there just wasn't enough evidence to reverse it. This is one of these cases where it's in the 4-3. Move, move. Go, dude. Get the flag going. Growing. Jumps up. He has it. The visiting team call a timeout on third down so far. The visiting team come out in the 46. Hands it off to the back. Great fake. Gets rid of it. Goes up, makes the catch. That ball was thrown so hard, the defense never had a chance to make a play. Close game to explosive offenses scoring nearly at will. Just a field goal was the difference. So the Admirals win this game 31 to 28 in a sneakily close game. It doesn't it didn't really feel like it was a close game, but the uh, Dragons didn't have a quit in them. So they really tried to come back and win this game, but it was just too late. It was just too much of that Russian attack and our player of the game, who else? The Swiss Army Knife himself, Hunter McFarlane, 174 yards, three TDs out of 20 attempts. He averaged eight yards a game. He averaged eight yards a touch. Unbelievable. And what a game he had. 58 yards uh, long uh, play, three broken tackles. Unbelievable. On the receiving end, a lot of guys got a lot of touches today on the receiving end. Tony Thomas, the main guy, gets five receptions, three receptions from our boy Hunter McFarlane, who is our player of the game. McKinney got two, and then the rest of them equally got two. I believe that is six receivers on the day. Quite a day for the guys in the backfield here. Donnie Martin and Kyle Adams getting their sacks in. Um, our boy... I don't think LeBron Turner got any sacks, but they didn't need him today. Three sacks today, a great defensive stand on most of these plays. Dave Ortega, uh, uh, 237 yards. He was slinging out there, but man, was he missing and was uh, and where the wide receivers were dropping that ball a lot. But he did manage to get two touchdowns, one INT, in Andy Hall, who replaced him after him getting injured. He Ended up with 79 yards and a touchdown. Rushing was non-existent. 10 yards, only, what, five carries. And he got a touchdown out of it, so didn't really um, hurt them there. Rocco Fannin, man, what a day. Only two touches, but that's all he needed. Two touches, two touchdowns. Two receptions, 114 yards. Man, what a beast, huh? Uh, they, they, uh, that yak is serious. That yards up to the catch was serious. He can bolt quickly. Um... Everybody else got a little bit of catches here. That ball was spread out, too. Um, a lot of receptions there. One sack for Lorenzo Solomon. He got that one sack today. And we will take it out of here, and let's go to the standings. So with that game, the Admirals will go on to be 4 and 0. Oh. And the Centurions right behind them at 3 and 0. Oh. Claymore's Fire and Thunder once again two and one. Monarchs one and two. And we still have our winless teams, the Galaxy, the Devils, and the Dragons. And the Dragons really need the rebound. This has been one of the most horrible yet close 0-4 uh starts uh to this 
first quarter of the season, they need to ramp it up quickly if they want to start winning. Our next game is going to be the Centurions and the Galaxy. Another 0-2 versus 3-0 team. Another winless versus the unbeatable. Let's see if the Centurions can go 4-0 with their comrades and the Admirals. Or will uh, the Galaxy pull out a upset? Now, they are going to be at home, the Galaxy. So, that is a little bit of an advantage. But they're going to have to pull out all the stops. They've had one of the lamest offenses this season. So, let's see what they can pull out the, uh, next time. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. And we'll see you in the next game.